Hey guys and welcome to an Undecorate and Clean With Me video. This video was actually filmed a couple of days after Christmas and it, as you guys can see our house was an absolute mess. Um, we hosted Christmas this year with my cousin and her boyfriend. It was actually quite nice and quite chilled and fun but when they left the house was an absolute chaos. This was filmed in two days, I think, because with a baby I always get interrupted doing things. Um, so you saw that it was still the kind of daytime and now it's starting to get to nighttime. But basically I had a bunch of um, dishes to make and bins to change. Had to take care of a lot of laundry from bed sheets from both of from us, from Simon, from my cousin and uh, just a bunch of laundry as well. We had to tidy up the floors to take all the decorations out, specifically, you know, Christmas tree. You can see me here just, you know, organizing the laundry to make and tidying up clothes and yeah, it was just a bunch, a bunch of cleaning to do. <laughs> There was so much laundry that, as usual, not only we had to use the hanging rack, but I had to also use the doors <laughs> of our closets, the doors in every room to hang our clothes to dry. Because there was so much, like all these sheets and everything. Then I had to put all the in dishes and make baby bottles for Simon, as you can kind of see. Um, in the middle of this I had to feed him, take care of him, you know, because I'm a mother and mothering is a full-time job so it, it took a while to actually do all of this because of Simon, because he loves being the star of my day. Honestly, the longest thing that it took was to clean the kitchen because I had so many dishes and the kitchen, even though it has a lot of storage, is actually quite tiny, so I had to keep cleaning, drying everything, put it away, cleaning, drying everything, put away, so I would actually have space. And it was, you know, very tiring. Then finally our clothes were done, so I had to hang them on, and yes, we live in the UK, we don't have a dryer, so this is how we have to do this. We have to, you know, hang our clothes in a clothing rack and just leave it here inside the property because it's always raining. So that's why people get very surprised in Portugal. <laughs> and this is actually the next day. I took that day to basically undo all of the decorations, un undo the Christmas tree and, you know, give a little bit of a last clean of the house. Because the floor was a mess and we had to, I had to, you know, put new sheets and all the beds and everything. But I felt quite sad and decorating everything because the house was so, you know, so cute and so full of joy and light and a lot of people outside actually that every time I would, I would walk Muren I would say something about the Christmas tree because they could see it from outside and it would bring joy to people and to, to me and yeah every time I undecorate a Christmas tree I, I get a bit sad but oh well it's fine it's fine you know next year I will go full out again and get even more decorations yay and most of the entire time of this day I had little Simon here with me, as you can see he looks extremely cute having a little nap. Um, I know we're not supposed to have, you know, our babies napping like this in living room, daylight and all of that, but we live in a one bedroom apartment and even though it was just after Christmas time, you know, my fiancé, he works and he was trying to rest a bit in the bedroom so I tried to have him here so he could rest in peace so he could go to work with energy and in the meantime while everyone was sleeping I was doing this and finally putting the actual boxes full of Christmas decorations away and the Christmas tree and yeah it's like an end of the chapter but it's okay it's okay it's okay. And on to hoovering the floor, the entire floor of the apartment, because it was full of my hair, fur, and you know, little th crumbs from food because we ate in the living room. 
during Christmas time and you know those little weird things from the Christmas tree and the floor was so dirty and full of dust and crap <laughs> it's just, it was actually very satisfying to do this to see the the color change in the floor and it's funny that Simon actually loves the sound of the hoover and every time we try to calm him down and he we've tried everything and he doesn't calm down we actually put a, a, a YouTube video of the sound of a hoover and he just calms down and most of the times falls asleep actually so every time I do this he actually enjoys it so I was like yay <laughs> you know he could calm down and I could do this and clean the, the house. And finally, after Karl went to work, I could finally do a deep clean of the bedroom, hovering the floor, and put new sheets, both for the baby bed and also our bed. And every time I do this, I just feel so satisfied to see a clean bedroom and clean sheets and clean everything. I just get so happy. I don't know why it makes me so happy. But yeah guys, that's it. Thank you so much for joining me for this video to see me, you know, undecorate and clean the house deeply, um, you know, for the start of a good year and yes, and I hope this inspires you to, you know, clean up your homes and to start fresh. So thank you so much for watching and don't forget, be happy and have a magical life. Bye guys.